I wrote a Christmas movie with a partner a few years ago. And because uh, I thought, you know, let me just do intellectual <laughs> property, right? Like Santa, it, you know, it's public domain. It's intellectual property. Everybody knows the story. So uh, a partner and I, we wrote like a, a Santa Claus origin story. You know, and basically like how he met Mrs. Claus, how the reindeer learned to fly. Yeah, like cool. it's kind of fun, right? Fun. And I cool. like we haven't seen this in a long time. We haven't seen a, a new Santa Claus. You know, even friends who weren't in the business were like, oh, that's really fun, you know. And it was basically the idea that he started off as a con man and a cat burglar. And that's why he was so good at breaking into places. Genius. Um, and so you've got this great character arc. And, you know, you have fun with like how all these things came to be. So I thought that seemed pretty marketable. And um, I sent it to an agent who said, um, who I could tell between us had not even read it. Um, and I could tell that because it starts with Santa as a little kid, but it's only for like the first five or so pages. And then you cut to him as an adult, not as an old man, but as an adult. And he's like, well, you can't do Santa as a kid. And so I had to kind of be like, not rude and saying, well, he's really not, you know, it's just the first few pages. And, you know, and then he said, and this was the critical thing. And this was a few years ago now. Um, but he said, well, you can't, you can't do a Santa Claus movie anyway, because they don't celebrate Christmas in China. Wow. <laughs> wow. Wow. Really? Yeah. There you have it. That's the extent to which the money and the marketplace is dictating what gets made. Because when I was first in the business, global market, U.S. was, you know, two thirds, oh, yeah. foreign was one third. Mm -hmm. And now that's reversed. Mm -hmm. Foreign is two thirds, U.S. is one third. And of that two thirds, a lot of that's China. Mm hmm. And a lot of that is action. Um, so, and I thought to myself, I thought, well, I guess that's why we haven't seen another Christmas movie on the big screen then since Elf. I couldn't right. think of seen since Elf. You know how long ago that was? That was so, um, early 2000s, wasn't it? I guess. Yeah, I mean, like I'm sure if John Favreau wanted to make Elf too. They would be happy to let him. But aside from that, I, I don't think we'll see it. And so it was so interesting to see that Christmas Chronicles thing. Uh -huh. and my partner and I even talked about it, about dusting ours off, but honestly it, it needs more work than I like to call yeah. it. And, and if we go down Christmas movies, then, uh, you know, the Disney channel Hallmark has those things. So, so on lock on those low budget. Well, they do, but, but getting back to what we were, how this, what kind of kicked this off was, you know, we had flying reindeer and stuff. So that was the other thing it was like, it couldn't be made cheaply we mm -hmm. thought mm -hmm. because you were going to have to have those visual effects you were going to have to have you know it, it was not a cheap movie to make um so yeah that was kind of interesting but it was funny too because both my movies only that have been released only you and what we want have been remade in china with chinese stars <laughs> and so i kind of felt like but they like me in china i mean why <laughs> <laughs> give it a shot <laughs>